Get Revelation Rock Fest 2020 update. Here we are with a Get Revelation Rock Fest 2020 update. I've got with me on the line my good friend, a brother from another mother, Stacy from Rev Resistance. Stacy, brother, how you doing, man? Doing great, Glenn. What's up, everybody? I'll tell you what. What a past four weeks it's been for us, hasn't it been? Oh yes. It's been uh, exciting. And here we are rolling into Thanksgiving, and we thought it would be very important and just the right thing for us to do to put out another update. First of all, to thank everybody that has contributed to the Kickstarter campaign, something that we started knowing that we were going to do this. It was going to happen, but not knowing how successful it would be. And I'd like to thank everybody that contributed to the campaign that made it successful. And we were hoping to get nine hundred dollars out of it to get this thing going but we ended up on saturday morning before i went to bed it was still at 988 dollars but i woke up on saturday morning with it at 1023 dollars so we had a last minute surprise donor and i woke my wife up and she's like what in the world are you so excited about and i showed her and i was it was like christmas morning like something had just been left under the christmas tree for me and it was really exciting stacy i know that god's been stirring a lot in you as we've been working on this and doing this and i wanted to give the opportunity for you to share with our listeners what's been going on in you yeah man it's just been it's been awesome i mean we've got to see you know the lord do some mighty and awesome things uh yeah, in my in my personal life, I mean, God's been blessing me as far as you know, finding a church family and all those different things, and uh, hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to talk more about that. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just so excited about what the Lord has done, what He's doing, what He's going to continue to do through this. Uh, this, the, you know, He's He's invited us to put His trust in Him, and uh, I, I think it's going to be. <laughs> I really believe that it's it's, it's going to be even more. Than, than than what we could ever imagine still. I mean, I, this ain't the end of it. I, I, we're not there yet. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I just, I just, I, I believe that, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's hard to put into words. I mean, I have a big smile on my face. <laughs> you know, I'm, just, I'm just so grateful and so thankful, so thankful to everybody who, you know, has been obedient to the Lord and, and prayer and, and giving, you know, of their, their money and stuff like that. So, yes. Oh, and some people, they just didn't give some money. Some people put in quite a bit that just blew me away. And every dollar that was given, it's like every time something was given, then more would come. And it was the Lord that multiplied it. And everybody that gave, no matter what the amount, it has just blessed us immensely because Ziggy and I up here in Charleston and, you know, we've been sending texts back and forth to each other. Hey, you know, we're at uh, 3% today. We were so excited when we hit 3%. Oh, we're at 5%, and then we hit 20%, and then we hit, when we hit 64%, that was when it's like, oh, wow, this is really working. This has really got nothing to do with us at all. Yeah. And then when we hit the 80%, and I was at a friend's house when we hit the 100%, I was just kind of, you know, thumbing through my phone and pulled up my email. It's like, congratulations, your Kickstarter campaign is successful. And I was like, whoa, no way. Yeah. And that, that was a week before we were closing it down. And wow, I, I, again, I am just so thankful for everybody that has given because it is not easy to give. It is not. And the Lord has entrusted us to do this, just as you said. And Stacy, one of the things that keeps resounding in me through this whole thing is that it, this has nothing to do with you or me. Yes, I agree. <laughs> it has nothing to do with We're, us. We, we are along for the ride, and it's it's so... You know, I used to be so afraid. I used to be uh, so intimidated by things like this. And I mean, in the last year, I mean, God has blessed so many things in my life and in those around me and stuff. As I have continued to put my trust in Him, He just continues to blow my mind. <laughs> yeah, so. absolutely, Stacy. I still get intimidated, and that is something that I have yeah. to fight in my flesh on a daily, daily basis. Oh, yeah. yeah, there is no. It, God has called us. He's put his. He's entrusted his spirit in each of us. Uh, that's something that I've been reading over the past couple of days in uh, Charles Spurgeon's book, The Holy Spirit. And God put his spirit in us to do great things, not to be timid, yes. not to sit back. There, there is a yep. great commission. This, what we're doing here in Charleston, for those of you that are just finding out about this, Rockfest 2020 
you know, anybody can have a concert. You know, we could set one up and do one and have a good time and everybody say, yay, that was great. But this is really turning into, and what it's supposed to be, is an outreach event. We're doing it at the Hanahan Amphitheater, which is between Charleston proper and North Charleston. So it's kind of right in the middle. It's a perfectly uh, placed location for it. It's not in a church building. So anybody who wants to come that would be intimidated about coming into a church building, they can come. And this is an outreach event is what it is. The music is a vehicle, but the big issue, the big topic for us is the, it's the gospel. That's what this is all about. It's about people being set free. One of the other things too, Stacey, that I've been discovering is that the event is the event, but there's so much more that God has in store. In going out and doing this, one of the things that I've been seeing is the importance of the relationships. There has been one-on-one ministry that has occurred here in just talking about this and presenting the idea of Revelation Rock Fest 2020 to people. And it's been really exciting to see that. I'll go one place thinking that something's going to happen there and then something totally different unfolds that's of the Lord. Without question, because somebody is being reached, they're being touched, and they're being ministered to. I do want to give a shout out real quick to somebody, though, and an organization that is helping us promote this event. It's the Raw Coffee Company in Goose Creek, South Carolina. And what they're going to be doing for us is, as we starting this week, just before Thanksgiving and during Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and moving all the way up into the event, People that are in the Charleston area, well, if, even if you don't live in the Charleston area, the coffee is so good there, and the keto cookies are just out of this world. I would encourage people to make a journey from North Carolina, Virginia, California, wherever you are, to come to this coffee shop because the coffee, I, I am a coffee connoisseur. I drink it all day long. I can fall asleep with coffee in my hand after I just drank a whole big <laughs> cup of it. I'm one of those guys. The coffee is just so good. The food there is good. The owner, Dan, he's a believer. And the whole coffee shop itself is a ministry. And if you want to get tickets to Revelation Rockfest, if you want to get some of the paper tickets, you can go to Raw Coffee Company and their address. They are located in Goose Creek, South Carolina at 110 South Goose Creek Boulevard. That should be really easy to remember. It's on 110 South uh, South Goose Creek Boulevard. So if you live in the Charleston area or anywhere in South Carolina and you're traveling through the Charleston Goose Creek area, go there. I just picked up the posters this afternoon that we're gonna be hanging in the window there to promote the event. They came out, Stacy. your artwork and your graphic design with that is awesome. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate having you help me <laughs> with this. Oh. <laughs> dude it's uh it is thank you for for letting me be a part of it man i'm i'm so excited and so blessed man i don't have the word <laughs> i just don't have the words of appreciation i said but, uh, that i said that to dan the other day when we got a major donation that i was not expecting there was an individual that i contacted and i told him about it and within 10 minutes we had a major donation i felt the lord leading me and i heard that still small voice to contact this person and i called dan afterwards when we got the donation i said dan i can't even verbally express i am just in awe of what just what just happened i yeah because when he and i when we were in cult land we would try to do things like this with very limited success and then it'd be just absolute abject failure which was a good thing yeah. because he was god was preventing us from doing things that would have been more damaging to the kingdom than than anything else at that at that time and it was a protection for us but he gave us a taste of the giftings that he knit within us to exercise mm. and what are being exercised now through what we're doing and I said to Dan, I just can't express this in words. I just felt like exploding and screaming when, you know, in a, in a good way, you know, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> just in a good way. And Stacy, the encouragement that you've given me on this end, there have been times where I'm like, okay, it's time to go out. You remember the Dunkin' Donuts commercial time to make the donuts? You remember yep. that one? The guy waking yeah. up early in the morning, I wake up in the morning. It's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, time to go out and, and shake the tree. Time to go shake the tree and see what comes of this and what's going to be next and what obstacles we have to overcome next. And in those times where I've had doubt, you've posted things on Facebook and social media promoting the event. I'm like, okay, Stacy, Stacy knows what's going on. God's speaking to him too. It's probably a little bit more clearer yeah. than me today. So it encourages me when that goes up. 
and it's encouraged Ziggy and our friend Jess, who's helping us on this end over here in Charleston as well. It's just been really exciting. And Harry and Mel Becker, they are super excited about being able to come to Charleston and do this. Stacey, there was something that God spoke to you a couple weeks ago about the finances for this event that he's yep. got he's got this yeah yeah uh, he did i mean i i got it that you know I and mean, you, you don't always get that <laughs> <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> but, but, but i did but i did get that and um it's i think you know he, he assured me that you know it was going to be above and beyond you know what we could imagine and i think the thing is is we need to definitely put forth our best efforts Yes. But he's gonna meet he's gonna meet us and take us higher. He's gonna meet us where we're at and, and he's gonna he's gonna elevate us and it's gonna bring him glory. And uh I'm confident of that fact. I think um, I can remember um, some biblical examples of that. Yeah. <laughs> In June I really believe that, you know, we're gonna get to come together as a family and uh we're going to get to meet God in a in a very beautiful and uh awesome and loving way down there in charleston it's going to be great what were you what, what's your biblical example gideon with a small army where it yep. looked absolutely impossible and who in the world is gideon you know who who is he compared <laughs> yeah. to all these great kings of the earth and yep. that's how god works god takes the foolish things the things that confound the wise the things that are small and uses those and my prayer and my heart posture is god just please keep me in that position right now of realizing that this is you and not and not me i think 20 years ago when i was doing things like this uh, they were limited because they had to be because there was a lot of junk that god had to burn out of me and one of the ironies of everything that's going on here i am calling and emailing people and sending out the kickstarter campaign promos on social media while Dan and yep. I are over here just taking a complete wrecking ball to televangelism and the and the prosperity gospel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. irony of that, but there is there is a properness to ministry. It does take dollars to minister. It does. And this yeah. again, it's about the heart posture and what it's for. You're not, I can promise all of our listeners that you're not going to see a get real rev resistance G6 jet flying over Charleston, South Carolina. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we we need one of those so I can get up there and see you quicker, Stacey, is what what that, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's not what's happening. I'm quite content with having a day job. I'm quite content in doing things the way that we're doing because God knit a lot of things in me. And that's another thing that I've, that I'm learning. You can do many things. And all those gifts in there, it's all for the glory of God. It's not compartmentalized. So, well, I'm just going to go do my employee thing over here and be an employee. And then I'm going to go home and you know do my, do my sports and football thing on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be a worshiper and then just leave that at the door when I, when I leave. Everything that we do is worship unto the Lord, which is, which is beautiful. Amen. I'm, I'm going to give you a good, hearty, old fashioned, amen. <laughs> <laughs> So for our listeners who are interested in coming to Get Revelation Rock Fest 2020 is going to be on June 6th, which happens to be the anniversary of D-Day, World War II. So it's going to be D-Day. Mm. Yeah, Ziggy, Ziggy reminded me of that. I was like, ooh, and he's like, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what's going to happen on D-Day. It's going to be D-Day in Charleston for the gospel, which, which it will be. You can get the tickets online now at the Lithos Cry website, and also you will be able to get them on Facebook now at Lithos Cry. There is a link there for the event, and you can get the tickets right now up through Black Friday. You can get them at a discounted price at $17 a piece. They're going to go up after Black Friday. We just got a little deal on there, and then they're going to go on StubHub. And again, if you want to get the paper tickets, and here's the cool thing about the paper tickets. If you live in the Charleston area, there's a 5% discount coupon on the back for raw coffee. So if you want to purchase your coffee or your keto cookie, your scone, or whatever you want to get from there, you can present that ticket at raw coffee and they will give you 5% off of your purchase. So really cool deal there. Great coffee, great music, great fellowship, and it's going to be a great outreach event. So check everything out, lithoscry.com. There's a link for Rockfest. There's going to be a link for the tickets right there. 
and also at Lithos Cry on the Facebook page. There's only one Lithos Cry. That's it. You can go ahead and go to Facebook and there's the event and you can click for the tickets. You can get them through Eventbrite there. Start getting your tickets now because I have a feeling that they are going to go pretty quickly. Word is out on the street that Disciple is coming to Charleston, South Carolina, and people are getting excited about it here. Stacy, do you have anything else that you'd like to share with our listeners? No, just thanks. Thanks so much. I know we've, we've said it and said it, but I can't thank thank everybody enough for for everything you know everybody pitching in giving what you have you know and i mean not not everybody can give money and uh prayer is 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 just as important encouragement support uh those things are equally as important you know uh god knew how much you know he knew how much we needed and uh he 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 supplied that and I'm grateful to him for it. And I give him all the praise for, for everything. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, here, here we are. We're, we're on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are. The, the train has left the station and there is no getting off now. It's, it's, yeah. it's happening and it's happening. The, the contracts, they are signed. They are coming to Charleston disciple. It's going to be a great lineup. We've got disciple as the headline band. Soul Creed right here from the Charleston, South Carolina area is one of the opening bands. And I am so, going to be so excited to see Harry and Mel Becker with Filthy Rags on a big stage yeah. with a big sound system. Same thing for Soul Creed. I've seen them perform live at the Mill in North Charleston. Great show that they put on there. And I've seen them lead worship at Summerall Chapel at the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. And Wow. What a what services they did there in that chapel and the acoustics in that chapel are really good too. So see them on a big stage. It is going to be an outdoor event. The pavilion though is was built by a musician for concerts such as this. So everything is right there. It's amphitheater type style seating. The capacity is two thousand at that at that facility. And if somebody here has a church youth group that they would like to bring to this event, you can contact contact me at lithoscry at gmail.com. And we do have some special church youth group packages with discounted tickets for if you bring the whole youth group with you. We do have the ability to do that. We have the seating capacity to do that. So I don't care if you load up the big old bus and bring it down from Virginia, Maryland, or wherever you're from, just bring them on down. This is gonna be a great event in Charleston in June. It's so pretty there, the river running right behind the pavilion. Uh, where the event's going to be taking place. There are restrooms there. So those of you that I've had <laughs> relatives be like, are there going to be bathrooms there? Yeah, there's bathrooms there. Um, <laughs> it was built It was built for this purpose. And yes, there will be concessions there as well. Uh, you'll be able to eat, you'll be able to get food, you'll be, be able to get drink. It's going to be a great event all the way around. Stacy, I want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. Same here, Glenn. Bless you guys, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving as well, and everybody else out there in podcasting land. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's funny because it was a year ago that we first did the Black Friday edition with you that we did here. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, that was a year. Uh, see what happens in a year? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, <laughs> hold on, people. Yes. Yeah, let's give it another year and see see what happens. <laughs> Yeah. But God is good, and that's what we need to be thankful for is God's goodness. And that was the whole purpose of Thanksgiving was to celebrate the goodness of God and the things that he's provided. And really, truly, for me this year, I have really started to learn thankfulness and what thankfulness is about. And we have a lot to be a lot to be thankful for. And to everybody that is out there in podcast land, happy Thanksgiving. We'll give everybody another update as we get close to Christmas. We'll give them a Christmas yeah. update on what's going on. And everybody, if you want to check it out, check us out, lithoscry at uh, lithoscry.com. That's L-I-T-H-O-S-C-R-Y.com. Stacy, what's your website address? www.revelation-resistance.com. And if they want to shoot you an email, how do they do that? You can email me at revelationresistance at yahoo.com. And you can get us at lithoscry, L-I-T-H-O-S-C-R-Y at gmail.com. People, eat a lot of turkey, eat a lot of stuffing, eat a lot of cranberry sauce, eat that pecan pie. Peace out and rock on. Thank you. Get Real will be soon back. <laughs>